Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you Hey, what is up trainers? Pogo Joel here coming at you with a duo Tyranitar raid guide. It's gonna be my job to analyze this Pokemon and help you make the best team to take it down. Introducing Tyranitar, a dark and rock type Pokemon. Hey Dexter, what do you have to say about him? Tyranitar, one of the most well-rounded, meta-relevant Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Check out these awesome Pokédex entries for Tyranitar. Its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack, so it is very eager to make challenges against enemies. Tyranitar is extremely strong. It can change the landscape. It has an insolent nature that makes it not care about others. In just one of its mighty hands, it has the power to make the ground shake and mountains crumble. A Tyranitar is so overwhelmingly powerful, it can bring down a whole mountain just to make its nest. It roams in the mountains, seeking new opponents to fight. If it finds an opponent that's not worthy, Tyranitar ignores it and wanders off, looking for the next challenge. In Pokemon Go, Tyranitar is one of the top Pokemon when it comes to base stats and max CP. As a raid attacker, Tyranitar will likely be the king of the dark types for generations to come, which will be super useful for legendary raids. So trainers, grab a friend and let's learn how to duo a Tyranitar. It's time for a raid battle! Alrighty, so to start off the raid, you want to do the empty lobby trick or empty party trick. What you do is you have a team full of empty Pokemon. The raid battle starts, you skip out on the animation raid boss timer, and then you actually start the battle. You save some time doing this, and if you're doing this and you're doing it for time, go ahead and definitely start with this one. So Tyranitar has a double weakness to fighting type. It's also weak against fairy, ground, bug, steel, water, and grass. I actually started the raid off with a Breloom. Now, Please note, this is only going to work if the Tyranitar does not have Fire Blast. If it has Fire Blast, don't use Breloom. But if it doesn't, go ahead and use Breloom. Uh, this was before the CP rework, so my Breloom's uh, powered up a bit. It's a 98%. It's not going to matter what percent yours is going to be. As long as your Pokemon are level 30 or higher, powered up, you can definitely take it down. Uh, I started off with Breloom because it is the strongest attacker as far as fighting types go it, it edges out my champ by a bit but it used to be considered more of a glass cannon because it didn't have that hp it didn't have the life to hang on with the cp rework recently uh it's gotten a lot better and so has my champ so this is going to be epic so for duoing tyranitar you're definitely going to want to focus on the fighting types highly recommend that you use my champ my champ is just a beast when it comes to fighting uh, he's the king of the fighting, even though Breloom does edge him out, uh, he survives a lot longer. The, the CP rework, he gets past 3000 now, which is awesome. You're going to want Dynamic Punch and Counter. Counter and Dynamic Punch are going to be the best combination to go with it. You can go in there with a team full of them. If you need a raid guide for a Machamp, because you can definitely get these in raids, I got one for you. And if uh, you didn't know, Machops are Pokemon that nest in your local parks out there grind try to find them or use the Silk Road Nest Atlas. Hey Joel, I don't have that many Machamps, what can I do? Well, we have Blaziken with Counter and Focus Blast, we have Lucario with Counter, Close Combat, Heracross, Counter, Close Combat, um, you also have Hariyama, Counter, Dynamic Punch, which is really good, it's very tanky so it can survive a lot longer than your Machamp. And if you are using Hariyama, you might want to use it as an anchor Pokemon at the end just so you survive as you get through. I put mine right before the end just because I wanted to try to survive as long as I could and then use my last Machamp to deal as much damage as possible. Well, hopefully I didn't hurt your ears with that clip, but I was just so pumped, so excited to beat Tyranitar, it was always a goal of mine to take it down with two people, and anyone can do this. Uh, so the best counters when we are trying to do it is going to be our fighting type for that double double weakness. 
for the fighting type and then it will also get boosted during cloudy weather your fighting type pokemon should have that boost now if you aren't going to try to uh, duo it with two people and you maybe need help from a third or maybe you're not just brave enough yet to try it um, rainy weather is going to boost the water types so you can you go in there with Kyogre, Gyarados with Waterfall Hydro Pump, um, other options are Mewtwo with Psycho Cut Focus Blast, the fighting move, uh, Groudon with Mud Shot and Solar Beam, you can also even go in there with um, Polyrath with maybe like Rock Smash, Dynamic Punch, and you can even also go in there with a Metagross with Bullet Punch and the Community Day move Meteor Mash. Uh, that could help too. But if you aren't trying to duo it, Machamp's going to be the number one choice when it comes to the fighting type Pokemon against Tyranitar, followed probably by Hariyama. The difference between these two is Machamp's going to come in and finish the job a lot faster, and Hariyama's going to survive a lot longer. So what are you waiting for, trainers? Grab a friend and let's go take this down. Alrighty, there you have it, guys. So you can definitely duo a Tyranitar. Uh, some things to note are, it did have a community day, so it did get a shiny variant, uh, shiny's alright. It did get a exclusive community day move, uh, Smackdown, so it does lay the Smackdown on everyone and becomes one of the best uh, rock type attackers in the game. Other things to note are, it does gain a mega evolution that looks pretty amazing. Um, it also gains a lot of bulk and speed, whether that ever makes it into Pokemon Go is one thing, um, but it does look pretty amazing. So please let me know down in the comments if you will be trying to take down Tyranitar with a friend, and if so, what Pokemon will you be using going into that battle. So if you found any of this helpful, please give a like and subscribe, and until next time, later traders.